right, so I got my gyro. I just put it in the plane. And it should fly by itself. Why is it not flying? <laughs> Hello hobbyists, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James with another quick tip. So why do we want to use a gyro or why do we need a gyro? Um, one of the questions that pops up all the time and people get into fierce debates for some reason, especially in our Facebook community, uh, whenever the concept comes up, you get a lot of people who say, oh, that's cheating, you shouldn't use that, so on and so forth, um, things like that. Uh, they believe, and other people I believe get a false perception of just what a gyro is and what it does. Uh, a lot of people I think have the perception, or it seems to be the case, that uh, the gyro flies the plane for you, uh, it does all the work, takes all the fun out of RC flying, and I think that's kind of hogwash. Last I checked, they don't give out trophies like this uh, for RC flying, or very rarely, unless you enter some sort of competition. Most of the guys who are going out to fly at the field are like myself. You just want to fly, you want to have fun, and you just want your plane to fly the best it possibly can uh, when it leaves the ground. And a gyro, one of these two options that we sell at Motion RC, uh, help accomplish that. I tend to use gyros on bigger aircraft, even though biggers do fly better. But again, if you're putting a lot of money into something, um, why not use the benefits that technology has provided uh, and put it in your RC aircraft to just help it out. So again, guys, real quick, this video is not gonna be uh, about setting up a gyro. We do have a ton of links in the description because I've done full videos on all three Hobby Eagle gyros on how to set them up and the Admiral Stability Plus gyro. This is a receiver gyro combination um, and that's all in the link to, uh, below. If you guys need help with that, that shows you, walks you through how to set it up and get your aircraft going. But basically the idea is, you know, what is a gyro? Why do we want to use it? Basically, simply put in layman's terms without getting too technical, um, the gyro is a device that has a bunch of accelerometers in it that are going to counteract any unnatural forces that are acting on whatever um, this gyro is controlling. So in the sense of an RC aircraft, the reason I love gyros the most is because if you're flying any RC aircraft, when you look outside and it's just windy enough where you're thinking about not going to the field, having a gyro in your aircraft can sort of uh, allow you to go fly on windier days than you normally would. Without a gyro in your aircraft, I don't care how good a pilot you are, if you're flying a foam electric free wing or flight line plane on a windy day, if, you're just, if you just have your plane fully trimmed out and it's tracking straight, it's gonna get blown around. There's nothing that you can really do about it. The plane's gonna look sloppy in the air at no fault of your own. Um, but when you have a gyro in it, the beauty of the gyro is it's going to make all the micro corrections. So as the wind hits all those control surfaces, the gyro is infinitely better than you as a human being at immediately counteracting and it can track your plane going straight. And that's basically my number one use for a gyro is because more often than not, when we get to the field, it'll be calm. The second we take off, the wind decides that it wants to, uh, Get, get in our faces, and a gyro is going to help counteract wind correction. That is the number one reason uh, why I would use a gyro. Now, for the guys out there who believe it's doing all the work, that's where it gets tricky because a gyro like this does have an auto level feature. It does have a heading hold feature. So, in essence, yes, if you use those features, um, that could be cheating. So, there is an auto level feature where if you're turning, if you're rolling your aircraft, um, when you let go, the gyro will automatically bring your plane back to level. If you don't even have the plane trimmed correctly, this gyro will get it to fly straight level without you doing anything. That is a feature that's supposed to help people learning how to fly. That's a feature you eventually can take off or shut off on a switch. But the gyro alone, having a gyro alone and on on an RC aircraft, in my opinion, is by no ways cheating at all. If anything, it's technology. As Alex just said, they invented power steering in your car. Why? To make life easier for you. Because I remember stories my mom's small. She said she used to have to hang on the steering wheel of the old caddy to uh, make a basic turn. Um, but power steering has eliminated that. It's available. Um, 
you know, it's technology just making life easier. And gyros have gotten to the point now when probably about 10 years ago, people didn't have gyros in their aircraft. Gyros, I believe, really started with RC helicopters, and that was a real gyroscope that would go on the helicopter, but they've gotten so advanced and so easy to set up and practically uh, painless to put in your aircraft. So if you're flying something that's big in your price range, you wanna make sure it flies the best. Adding something like this for 20 to $40 um, into your RC aircraft is just gonna take the experience and make it better. So guys, don't worry about what anyone else says out there. Uh, if you want to fly with a gyro, just put it on your aircraft and you're gonna love it. And for those who don't wanna put up a gyro, don't knock the people who do. It's, it's technology, technology's there to improve, and I'm sure these things are only gonna get better. Who knows uh, where we're gonna be in another 10 years as far as the technology like this. But guys, that'll do it for this quick tip. Get yourself a gyro, please. It'll make, it, it'll make life so much better for you uh, on those windy days. We'll see you next week, guys, with another quick tip.